Yo ho ho, what is going on everybody? Aussie Shooter here, back with another video for you guys. So in today's video guys, we're going to be taking a look at and doing a review on this Harrison Escort, guys. Now we're not talking about the type of Escort that you call around your house when you want to have some fun. We're talking about some Escort fun fun and a gun fun. <laughs> That didn't make sense, I know, I'm so sorry. So, today we're going to be checking out this brand new Harrison Escort that I just purchased. So, uh, when you get the box, there's not really anything fancy to it, honestly. You just get a nice little long box with just a little bit of foam padding inside, so nothing really exciting. But what we want to really look at, God, that didn't go to plan, is the Harrison Escort, guys. Now, this thing is an absolute beast of a 22. Now, if you guys have been around on the channel for quite some time, you'll know I already had a 22, uh, which was a Lithgow Model 1222. Now, I already did a review on it, so if you guys want to go check that out, it should be on the channel somewhere. Um, but unfortunately, I've got some bad news. I actually sold that gun going back a couple of months ago now to purchase this. Now, the only reason why I sold that gun, there was nothing wrong with it. I absolutely love it. I kind of regret selling it, but I wanted something just a little bit better for what I was looking for as a 22. Now, I like to do a bit of hunting and also like to do a bit of target shooting. Now, the one downfall that I had with that old Lithgow Model 1222 was, is it didn't have scope mount, so I actually couldn't attach a scope to it. So I got it, I got it all priced up and uh, stuff like that. It was gonna cost way too much money, more money than I spent on the gun and more money than what it was worth for the gun. So I thought the best idea would be is sell the gun and get the 22 that I want, that you can attach a, bi a bipod to, as well as mount any optics that you want and please. So uh, I looked on the market for something that was in affordable price range and something that could do what I wanted to do, hunting as well as target shooting. And I came across this Harrison Escort, which fit the budget very, very well. It also looks very mean and very sexy at the same time. So, you know, appearances are everything, right? <laughs> um, so now let's get into the details of this Harrison Escort. It actually has an 18 inch barrel with a flash hider. Now why they would go ahead and put a flash hider on a 22, I really don't know. There's not much recoil, but fuck, does it look cool. <laughs> so that's a one factor. Now the overall length of this gun is 95 inches. So it's quite a small little package. It's very, very light. Um, I chose the synthetic stock. Again, you know why I choose the synthetic stocks. I prefer them over wood stock. But if you want to get wood, you can actually get it in a wood version. They also have a camo version of this as well. Um, but I went with the black because it matches the rest of my guns. Uh, yeah, and also another thing as well, up the top here, as I was saying about scope mounts, it actually has a three of an eighth dovetail rail up here. So if you guys don't really like dovetail rails, there are options on the market where you can put other mounting systems up there that connect to the dovetail rail. But for me, it really doesn't bother me that much. So uh, I just went ahead and slapped these uh, dovetail rail mounts straight on there with this little scope. Now I believe this scope is a um, two times seven by 32 optic. So it's not anything crazy, but it will get the job done for what I want to do. A little bit of target practicing as well as a little bit of bunny shooting and so forth. Now the overall weight of this gun is 6.4 labs, so it is um, pretty light, it's not heavy. Um, I will say it is a bit more heavier than what my Lithgow was, but obviously I do have an optic mounted on this one as well as a bipod. Now um, another thing as well that really intrigued me when purchasing this gun, it comes with 10 round magazines, but not only does it come with a 10 round magazine, it actually comes with two 10 round magazines. Um, I will say one thing about these magazines, they are plastic, synthetic plastic, so they don't feel, you know, they feel kind of sturdy, but I honestly think they should have went with like a metal magazine, something that would have been a little bit more durable than these plastic magazines. But as I was saying, you've got one 10 round magazine, but the one nifty thing as well that you can do with this rifle is right here, in the uh, buttstock, if you press this little lever, you can actually pull out a second 10 round magazine. So if you did your maths right, that's 20 rounds you can actually carry on this rifle. So you can actually have this loaded with 10 rounds and insert it into the, the butt, as well as have this obviously loaded with 10 rounds as well. So, you know, that's really, really helpful if you're out doing some serious bunny control, you know, to have that on you. So you don't have to worry about thumbling around, trying to get bullets out of your pocket and trying to load your magazine out, which can be a bit of a pain. So that is really cool to have that feature there. And also, like I said, it just literally tucks right in up under the mat, uh, under the buttstock, just like that. If I get it the right way, you're gonna have it this way to insert it. 
like that and it clicks in there and honestly it's not coming out there's no movement at all so you won't have to worry about your magazine falling out and losing it so that's one cool feature there now as well like i said you can actually attach a bipod to the rifle as well um, there's a swivel mount there um, you can use as well and there's also another sling mount down here so if you do want to run a sling to sling it over your shoulder you can definitely go ahead and do that now the one thing that i did find about this gun that i kind of didn't really like i know it's a brand new gun and i'm pretty sure it's going to be worn in over time but the issue that i did find with it uh, let's see if it'll do it i've actually lubed the bolt up since i've actually bought it um, but the bolt is a little bit clunky like that is not smooth at all um it's gets a bit stuck and a bit bit caught up there when you sort of cycle that action but i do find once you sort of move it through a couple of times the action does get a little bit better now i don't know if that's going to get better over time or if that's just a thing that it's going to be i'm hoping not i'm pretty sure it was just because it's brand new i actually haven't shot it yet so obviously once we put some rounds through it get a little bit more dirty clean it a little bit more thoroughly i think we shouldn't have any problems um but yeah really really cool now the safety feature on this one um, unlike my other one had a little bit of problems but i did end up fixing that in the in the long run um, but yeah the safety all you have to do is cock it like that and your safety is here so all you have to do is flick it like that and now it's in safe and then if you want to flick it off safe all you have to do is that and now you can shoot um, another cool thing to take the bolt out now, like I said, when I did my other 22 review is I don't really like uh, guns where you have to press the trigger to be able to pull the bolt out. Now, unfortunately, this is the same thing with this rifle. If you actually want to pull the bolt out, you have to, let's just make sure we're clear. We're clear that my guns are always clear, but you know, always check first. Now squeeze the trigger and you should be able to pull this bolt out. Now taking a look at this bolt, it actually does look pretty well built. Um, I will say my Lithgo bolt was a lot smaller than this bolt. I would say it was probably about half the size of the bolt. I reckon it was only about there. This is a lot more heavier, but you would assume it would be a little bit more durable. Um, and it does look pretty nice. It's nice and clean. Like I said, I did put some lube on it, but I think I may need to put some more in there and that should help clean it up. Now, yeah, absolutely love it. Now, this is a Turkish made gun as well. Uh, I think it's uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, it is a Turkish made gun. It's a Turkish made gun, just like my Adler. I don't think the Adler and uh, Harrison are the same company, but yeah, they definitely is a Turkish made gun. Now, as I was saying, synthetic. Now, this thing is an absolutely beautiful gun to hold in your hand. It's really, really nice and really, really comfortable. The uh, buttstock here, your rubber pad feels really, really nice. Not that you really need a nice rubber pad on a 22 anyway, because there's not really not that much uh, recoil on a 22. Um, so what I'll do as well guys, is I'll go ahead and take this um, this bipod off so you guys can see this. There's a really nice uh, hand indentation on this stock up here. It's, it's sort of in the way because the bipod's covering it up. But it is so comfortable to hold. Um, I really don't think you'll have any problems with any um, uncomfortability when taking this out the bush. Um, right now, as I was saying, you've got this nice little place to rest your hand. And it is absolutely comfortable as to hold. Um, I can't wait to shoot this thing. This thing's going to be really, really nice. Now, just quickly as well, another thing that I kind of dislike about this gun is this trigger. Now, this trigger looks like something you would find on a cat gun. Uh, and I'm not even joking you. Um, I've actually seen uh, better triggers on cat guns. For an example, this here is one of my cat guns here. And honestly, it looks about the same as what this trigger does. Let me bring it up to the camera so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'll get, I'll get a bit more closer shots up for you guys as well, so you guys can have a look a little bit better. But that's the trigger there that I'm talking about. And this is a cap gun trigger. So it literally looks exactly the same as a cap gun trigger. If not, this cap gun trigger actually looks a little bit better. Um, so that's one downfall. Um, I don't know whether you'll be able to replace them with any aftermarket kits. I'm pretty sure there would probably be something out there to be able to replace it but uh, you know at the end of the day it really doesn't matter because it functions just like I want uh, the price that you pay you get a really good deal to be honest uh, I'm very happy for what I paid for it um, and honestly I think it's going to do what I want it to do um, but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this review on the Harrison Escort if you guys have any more questions about this gun definitely don't be uh, scared to drop any comments down in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer you with any questions about this gun. 
Um, but yeah, I really can't wait to take this thing out and see what this thing's capable of doing. Uh, I have seen some pretty good uh, shooting reviews on it, so like they're putting in some pretty good targets, uh, groupings. So it will be interesting to see whether it was as good as the um, me old uh, Lithgo. But also remind, uh, also don't forget guys, that also only had iron sights as well. So uh, that this might be a little bit more of a step up now that I have a scope and I'll be able to see what I'm actually shooting at. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this review. Like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, as well, I actually didn't say that, but if you guys are new to the channel, make sure guys hit that like and subscribe button because we do reviews on guns. We also do reviews on gun products as well as knives and all those uh, camping and outdoor things. And uh, you definitely don't want to be uh, missing out on those things because we do some pretty cool things on this channel here. Um, so yeah, if you guys are already subscribed as well, make sure you guys hit that like button for me too, guys. I would really, really appreciate that. And uh, as always, guys, we'll catch you in the next one.